All right, so I've got tvOS 17 on my Apple TV and I found a bunch of new features and changes that I'm sure you're going to love. It's crazy to think that we even have FaceTime now on the Apple TV. How awesome is that? The most noticeable design change in tvOS 17 is that we now get six icons on the home screen per row. So the icons have gotten slightly smaller, which makes a bunch more apps fit in the screen all at once. Now, don't forget this is a, a, a power tip. I'm gonna say make sure to put apps in the top that actually get special treatment. For example, Apple TV Plus and Apple Music, as you hover over them, trailers will go on or if you go on apple music music videos will go on something that's quite noticeable as well and extremely useful is the brand new control center so on the top right you'll see the time and your small profile icon if you hold on the tv icon you'll actually get your new control center from there you'll be able to see all of your home kit security cameras your home kit security doorbells and you can actually tap on them and actually see them full screen or at the bottom you'll see all of your home kit scenes which is pretty cool it's kind of sad that we still do not get all of our home kit products or a dedicated home app on the apple tv i still don't know why it's still not there but hey, you also get all of your system controls, including a brand new power off icon. So if you basically hold on the power icon, it basically does the same thing, but we now get a dedicated button. We get our Wi-Fi or do not disturb. Actually, let me show you hands on. All right, so let me show you how it works. If you wanna access control center, you do it the same way as before. You basically hold on this icon right here, the TV icon, you hold that, and the control center will now show up so over here you've got a new shutdown icon which is awesome so if you just want to leave or go to bed well my first tip is you can ask siri just siri close the apple tv but if not if you don't have a home button you can just simply press that you've got your wi-fi info your do not disturb the sleep timer here's where you get all of your audio controls which is brand new and it's actually separated with speakers and headphones as you can see over there your gaming and your child lock info. On the top as well, you get all your HomeKit security cameras and your HomeKit scenes. No, we still cannot control our HomeKit accessories directly from here. And here's where we get all of our different live cameras. And then on the top right, over here, we got our different profiles. So if you've got different family members, well, here's where the user would actually go in. But that's a quick glance on the actual control center and tvOS 17. Something so useful and something that we always wanted is that you can now find your Siri remote using the Find My app. You basically simply have to go on the Find My app and tap on your Siri remote and from there it's kind of just like an AirTag or just like your AirPods. You basically follow it. You obviously can't play sound because it doesn't have speakers. Maybe that's an upcoming feature for an upcoming Apple TV. But you can now find your remote that's always hiding on the bottom of your couch. Now we've always been able to add screensavers on our Apple TV. They, they were usually like Apple's landscapes or Apple beautiful wallpapers. But now in tvOS 17, we can actually add our photos, our memories from the Photos app as screensaver. You can select a specific album that you want or a specific memory, or you can just tell the Apple TV to just show a bunch of random photos and images and save them as a screensaver. And then the probably the biggest feature on tvOS 17 is FaceTime. Now I'm currently using the beta of tvOS 17 and I haven't been able to make it work, but I have seen the TV app and it basically works like this. In terms of FaceTime, you basically have the FaceTime app. You tap that and it's currently not working, but it will basically add Ask you to pick a user so let's pick me right now and as you can see just got a notification on my iPhone if I want to accept my iPhone as a camera so it should supposedly be working now but since we're on beta it's not working but just imagine if it is it's now asking me to place my phone to connect so I'll just leave this right here and then supposedly it should start working um, you can press to skip and as you can see it says starting camera and then there you go, I can now call whoever I want. I've got all of my contacts over here. And if I wanna call somebody, I just simply press. And supposedly, you know, it should work, but since the iPhone is not connected, it doesn't. But over there, we've got all of our different options. So let's go ahead and hang up. And over here, we cut a couple options, center stage, portrait, and reaction, which is brand new in iOS 17. Something to note is that using your iPhone's camera for using FaceTime is not only exclusive to FaceTime. Apple's actually opened up the API to third-party developers. So Zoom and WebEx, it's official that that will be coming. So you'll be able to zoom directly on your Apple TV using your iPhone. So apart from FaceTiming on Apple TV, which is already awesome, you can also do SharePlay 
day so you can actually FaceTime your friends and family and watch a show together. This is also a small feature, but those of you who speak two languages, it was so frustrating and it's also been fixed on tvOS 17. For example, I always want my Apple TV in English, but I can't use Siri if I'm from Spain because it, it was this whole bug, right? If you had two languages, you couldn't make it work. Now I can have my Apple TV in English and Siri in Spanish. Previously, if you had your Apple TV in English, you couldn't even access Siri at all if you were from a different country. So for those of you who experienced the same bug as me, it's finally been fixed, which is Awesome. So those are all the new features and changes in tvOS 17. Check this video right here to check out my full-on Apple TV 4K review and my iOS 17, all the features that are new that you need to know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.